Here's a check on stories we're following for you today on Robinhood Radio. First of all, we have a flash flood watch in effect through Thursday afternoon for our entire tri-state region. We'll check in with Pat Pagano and get the details on that tri-state forecast in just a few minutes. A story in the Republican American by Ruth Epstein, the Sharon Fire Department Ambulance Squad, took possession of their new ambulance on Monday of this week. They gathered at the firehouse to get a close-up look, expressing pleasure at all the features of the vehicle that will help increase their ability to provide the best care possible for passengers. Among them, ultraviolet lights in the ceiling and ductwork to help with the decontamination process and cameras that allow for 360-degree views. The purchase of the vehicle was made from the Eastford Fire and Rescue sales for $282,000. As the school year kicks off in Connecticut, state COVID-19 numbers are soaring with the positive test rates now past 4%. Governor Ed Lamont described the next three weeks as another critical period of the COVID-19 outbreak as public and private schools across the state reopened to students. In the last school year, there were 23,656 cases of COVID-19 among students between October 8th and June 23rd, and over 7,200 among staff members, according to state figures. Lamont ordered that teachers and staff at pre-K to 12th grade schools statewide must receive at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine by September 27th. Others who qualify for medical or religious exemptions will be required to be tested for COVID-19 on a weekly basis. With hours to go before New York's eviction moratorium expired yesterday, Governor Kathy Hochul announced she would reconvene the state legislature today to attend to a number of pressing issues, including extending the moratorium to January of 2022. The state's moratorium halted evictions as a public health measure related to the COVID-19 pandemic and was extended in May to allow more time for the Federal Emergency Rental Assistance Program to kick in. And also, local governments will split $65 million from the governor to use towards circulating COVID-19 booster shots to residents. The newly minted governor announced the funding yesterday while detailing the importance of combating the contagious COVID-19 Delta variant and the role she expects state government to play. New York is hiring state troopers if you'd like to apply and you've got the qualifications. They announced yesterday that applications are open for the next police trooper entrance exam administered online for the first time and run from January 2022 through April of 2022. State police have been criticized lately for its lack of diversity. Of its 4,640 sworn members, only 6% are Hispanic and 4% are black, while 11% are women. The starting pay is about $58,000, grows to $82,000, dollars after one year. Positions also come with full benefits and a pension. The Town of Amenia Board Workshop meeting will be held Thursday at Town Hall at 7 p.m. Lime Rock Park's Historic Festival 39 kicks off on Thursday, runs through September 6th, Labor Day weekend. More information, LimeRock.com. The race car parade is on Thursday, 4 to 6 p.m., leaving Lime Rock Park, driving through Lakeville up through Salisbury, turning around at Noble Horizons, back through Salisbury and Lakeville and to Falls Village, where a giant party is held for a couple of hours. Coming up on September 2nd, Ashley Falls Historic District Commission meets at 4.30. A virtual public informational meeting on the reconstruction of Bulls Bridge Road in Kent will be held via Zoom on Thursday, September 2nd at 7 p.m. Residents interested to find out whether the town board will opt in or out of allowing marijuana dispensaries and lounges to attend its monthly meeting. The meeting will be held at the Amenia Town Hall at 7 p.m. on Thursday. More information, ameniany.gov. Salisbury Congregational Church offering its monthly meeting house music meditation. This comes up Friday from noon till 12.30 in the meeting house. A one-half hour of organ and instrumental music is free to the community. CDC and Connecticut State Policies of COVID regulations must be followed. A Labor Day weekend art sale is happening September 3rd, 5 to 8 p.m., to benefit the Cornwall Library. At the, it will open with a cocktail reception from 5 until 8 p.m. on Friday. The first in-person concert devoted to well-known and beloved choral favorites from Crescendo, Dramatic and Sublime and Special Order Outdoor Setting, 
Included in the concert are English Renaissance, Baroque, Romantic, and American traditional spirituals. This will happen September 3rd at 5 p.m. at Sharon's Veterans Field at the Lions Pavilion. Tickets can be purchased at worldclassmusic.org. Friday's on the green wrap-up in Norfolk this Friday with an end-of-summer party. It begins at 6.30. The Goshen Fair is back this Labor Day weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, with lots to see and do all three days. GoshenFair.org. Labor Day art sale in Cornwall runs through the 6th at the Cornwall Library. Kicking off with that in-person cocktail reception on September 3rd from 5 to M. The show will feature artwork donated from local and regional sources. All sales benefit the library. Sale hours are from 10 until 4 on Saturday, Sunday from 11 till 3, and Monday from 10 a.m. till noon. CornwallLibrary.org. Stockbridge Library, share the beauty and bounty of your garden, a pop-up flower show. A fundraiser to benefit the Stockbridge Library, September 4th, 10 until 2. Enter solo or as a dynamic duo. More information is available at StockbridgeLibrary.org. Underwriting support for Robin Hood Radio Stock Market Report comes from the Interlaken. Interlaken Road in Lakeville. You'll find them at interlakenin.com. Also on Facebook and Instagram, Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. Underwriting support from Vialli Insurance, located at 75 Main Street in Lee, Massachusetts, insuring hard-to-play seasonal and secondary homes in the Berkshires since 1912. For all your insurance needs, 413-243-0347, on the web, by AlleyInsurance.com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average will start off the day today at 35,360.73. The NASDAQ at 15,259.24. And the S&P 500 at 45,22.68. We'll take a look at that tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments. <laughs> 